keep on loving you. I don't know why. Oh, why? Hi, everybody. Now, I know people are coming in. No one is saying hello to me. Come on. This is supposed to be a party. And make sure you have, hello, says what? Hi, my beautiful friend. How are you? Make sure you have your adult beverages because this is a party. We're just going to get together and we're going to chat and get to know one another. Hello, Denise. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Susan. Oh, I'm glad, Susan. I'm glad you have your Wi-Fi back. Nature Bound. Hello, my friend. How are you? Well, it's just, we're just getting together. We're going to chat. We're going to get to know one another. And we're going to have some adult beverages. I'm starting off. Yes, I said starting off. I'm starting off with a peach bellini. Hello, life befell the pals. How are you? Hunts, Huntsman Outdoors, hello. How are you? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys are coming over from Clint's Live. Steph outside, how are you? I saw your, your latest video and liked it. <laughs> Clint, you are so wonderful. Thank you so much. So I had a live this morning and I wanted yesterday's let's all get our adult beverages. Pam's great outdoors, my Florida sister. Get your beverages because we're going to get to know one another. We're just going to chat. Hi, Joss. Thank you. We're going to get to know one another. We're going to chat, chilling with Melon. Hello. Clint, you're so kind. Thank you. Mommy Face, hello. Poetic Kells, hi, how are you? Oh, that's my girl. She has her adult beverage. Hi, Shannon. Jefferson Einstein. How are you? So everyone has their adult beverage. We're going to drink. No, Lady 007, you're not late at all. We're just going to sit back. We're going to have a beverage and we're going to get to know. Hi, Clint. You're so kind. Thank you. You know what, Clint? A wrench. Oh, Shannon, this is called a peach bellini. So because I was I was lazy, so I didn't. I went to Total Wine and More, and um, and I just picked up. I told the guy I just want a peach bellini. I want it already mixed because I don't feel like mixing today. But peach bellini is basically it's um. You can have like, it's like a peach juice. You can mix it with uh, Prosecco and and just um, blend it in your blender. And it's beautiful. Mm. And of course, you add liquor with it if you want something stronger for the men. Because I'm sure they'll think this is a girly drink. Urban DePay Taurus. Hello. Nerd of the North. Hello. It is Joss. It is so so good. It's a girly drink. I love it. I see that, Clint. Everybody, you guys, this is so wonderful. Thank you so much. Mocha cream, hello. So it's nothing in, in it's just 
us getting together, just chatting. Nathan likes drums. Hi, how are you? We're just drinking, getting, hoping you all have your adult beverage. We're just sitting here, we're chatting, getting to know one another in the chat and support one another in the chat. And we can talk about anything. We don't have to talk about designer handbags. Ooh. So the first thing let's talk about is what's everybody drinking? Oh, Steph, you're so kind. What's everyone's, what are you all drinking right now? Because I should not be the only one that's drinking because that's no fun. <laughs> Nature Bound, you're so bad. Hello, Funko Pop Super Nerd TV. Hello, how are you? That's my girl, Joss. She's getting a glass of Chardonnay. I may join you in a bit, but you can't judge me because my glass is this large. Poetic Kells, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with you having your vodka and cranberry juice. Hi, Dee Blair, how are you? Amy writing diva. So this is a peach bellini. So everybody, what are you drinking? I know poetic Kel, she has vodka and cranberry juice. Josh, she is, she's having Chardonnay. Yes, there are no judgments here. So if you choose to drink out of the bottle of your Chardonnay, that's quite all right. I don't judge as long as you're having a good time. Shannon says, I'm drinking iced tea. Twist my arm and we'll drink some sangria. <laughs> twisted, twisted Shannon. Drinking a punch monster. What's that, Nerd of the North? Ooh, Clint, throne. Hello, Michelle. I know uh, Poetic Kells. I think Clint has the, the, the better drink there. So it's punch flavored monster energy drink. Oh, okay, Nerd of the North. Says what, says Bailey's and coffee, my girl. Pam, you almost made me spit out my drink. Pam says water on ice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shannon, it's always after five somewhere. It doesn't matter if you're up at eight in the morning and you choose to drink, think about it. It's always five o'clock somewhere. Hello, Michelle. Thank you so much. So, oh, thank you, Nerd of the North. You're, you are really observant, aren't you? <laughs> Nature Brown. <laughs> It's around at five o'clock. Heck, we start at noon up here. <laughs> Shannon, I have to be honest with you. I don't, I don't drink often. I really, I really don't. I don't drink a lot. And I would not lie to you even though my father's a pastor and you know what they say about pastor's kids. We are the best kids. We are well-behaved children, pastor's kids. Mm 
So we can hang out, Shannon. If you if you come to Florida, oh, I'll show you a good time. We'll go to South Beach. We will have such fun. Hello, Prayon. So what are you drinking, Prayon? Hi, Pamela. I'm so glad you were able to join. There are many, many, many content creators in here, everybody. Hi, I'm Purse Happy too. How are you? Hi, Sound Bites. Night Shame, hello. Heartstring, hello. I'm well, thank you, Night Shame. How are you? Oh, Amy. Well, next time you're in Florida, you should certainly just look me up. I would love that. Hi, Teresa. The Sure Shannon Show. Hello. Heartstring, what is the drink of choice? Don't, that's okay. You have company. Shannon is also drinking water. It's okay. There is absolute, uh, there's no judgment here. <laughs> oh, Clint, only you get it, Clint. You get it. Yes, Teresa, I changed, I changed my lipstick. Yeah. This is Fenty Beauty um, Stunner Uncensored. And I added a uh, lip gloss uh, to it. it. It is the L'Oreal Orange Tempo. I just added on top. Thank you. So Teresa, what are you drinking? Oh, Shannon, thank you. You're so kind. Thank you. Thank you, Heartstring. Well, get yourself. Hello, Erica Land. How are you? Mocha cream. Mocha cream. Um, I had something. you would nature bound hi beverly oh beverly i am so sorry i didn't have a chance to send you cap seven hello my friend i didn't have a chance to send you um the recipe for the or the ingredients for the my wonderful drink here so because i was over by my, my parents um, but you can just pick it up at any, any, um, I got mine at Total Wine and More, and it's made by Canela, the brand Canela, and it's peach bellini. It's already, already pre-made. You don't have to do anything other than pour it. So I was just telling, I was just saying to, to the chat that, oh, absolutely, Night Chain. Absolutely. That's totally fine. Um, I was just saying to the chat that my dad, my dad is a pastor. So you know what? Pastors' kids are such well-behaved children. I can't speak for anyone else. I only can speak for me. I was a well-behaved child. Yes, sound bites. I think you should pour yourself a nice cup of something lovely. <laughs> Mocha cream, Sharon is not here, thank God. And if you watch Mocha cream, you should know that I was the good child. I'm the middle child. And you should know that I was the good one because in Meet My Sister tag, I said, that my sister Sharon was the one, she was the rebel. 
and I was the good child. I was. <laughs> I'm purse happy too. Oh, thank you. It's um, Fenty Beauty uh, Lip Stunner uncensored. You don't need to ask Sharon mocha cream. Jeez, you're not going to take my word for it. See, I'll tell you this. Pastor's kids get a bad rap because everybody judges you by everyone else standard. And it's not, it's not fair because you do have some hell raisers, some kids who are really, I mean, really hell raisers. I wasn't one. I mean, I did we didn't have a chance to be hell raisers. <laughs> Clint, that is true, but I'm talking about in the past. I'm not talking about the present. I'm talking about the past. But we didn't have a chance to be hell raisers. You know why? Someday we were in church. Sunday night. We were in church. Monday, we were in church. Tuesday, we were in church. Wednesday, we were in church. Thursday, we were in church. Friday, we we're in church. We we're cleaning church on Saturday, and we start all over again. So as pastor's kids, we didn't have a chance to be hellraisers. I wish I was a hellraiser then. But I think I, I'm, I'm grateful every day of the way I was raised, though. <laughs> Clint, you're horrible. So, Joss. Oh, um, so I, Joss said, tell us how you got into Kung Fu. Hi, DJ King. I have, since we're, since we're little and in the islands, and D. Blair can attest to this, in the islands in Jamaica, we had... I mean, Kung Fu or martial arts, it was big. <laughs> Amy, let's, let, we don't have to say anything about that, Amy. Um, so in Jamaica, Kung Fu is huge. So, I mean, I would watch martial arts movies, any Bruce Lee movies, any of the Five Deadly Venoms, Return of the Five Deadly Venoms, any of the Venom era movies I love. And be honest with you, there are some Saturdays that I just have a marathon of Kung Fu movies just playing. I love it so much. I mean, I literally will be up. I'll go to the gym. I'll come back and I'll plop on the settee and I'll turn the television on and I'm on Amazon and I'm just watching, watching until maybe about nine when I go to bed. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm addicted. I couldn't tell you last time I watched regular television because all I do is watch Kung Fu movies. Love them. Hi, Noble Strength. Hi, G. Blair. So get to know everybody in the chat, everyone. So yeah, I D Blair is is from St. Croix and she knows. We love those movies. Paola says looks are definitely deceiving. You seem so girly in a good way. No, don't get me wrong. I am girly, but I'm also a nerd. I I I love I mean, I can build a computer in less than 30 30 minutes. I'm a geek, I'm, but I'm girly. I love my girly stuff, but I'm also a geek and I love Kung Fu movies. I'm, I just, I, I love different things. I, I lose, a ten, my attention span is like this. So I always need something to keep me occupied. Midnight Raven, hello. Hi, Bag Hound. <laughs> Poet Kells. 
Prayon says those Kung Fu fighters never wear shirts, and we like it like that. Why would you want them to have shirts on? So that's 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 it. I mean, I I um oh DJ King, yeah, I love don't get me wrong, I love Kung Fu movies. I'm but I'm also I'm a foodie. I can I can cook my butt off, which every girl, if you're from the islands, that's one of the things that you better know how to do. You you better know how to cook, right? Right, Dee Blair? So I'm a great cook, but I'm also I'm a geek. I'm also a singer songwriter and I have a single out. Um, basically, there are a lot of layers to me. Lots of layers. But I'm but I'm a good girl. <laughs> Seriously, Amy? Thank you, Noble Strength. What are you drinking? Really, Clint? He says, give us a few lines of a song. Oh, Baghound, my, my song is called My New Man. It's on iTunes, it's on Amazon, it's on um, it's on Google Plus, so you can find it. You can find it anywhere. Really, Joss? Okay, Pam. So uh, let's see, what can I sing for you? You were a fool to let me go. I finally found someone that makes me so, so happy. I found a love that makes me feel the world is mine and my joy is for real. He's a really good man. I love it when he holds me. I love it when he kisses me. I love it when he says when he says it's all right every night he holds me he controls me my baby is a really really good man that's it that's the song i wrote Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Clint, you're making me blush. Stop it. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Yes. Um, my dad was the, uh, although my dad was the pastor, he was also the conductor of the choir. So um, he would not let us, his three girls, the first three kids are girls and I have a brother and then I have a younger sister. So we always would sing right before my dad would preach. So we were always either in the choir or we would sing right before daddy would go on and preach. So we had no choice but to sing in the choir. Yes, Pamela, I, I wrote that song. 
Thank you, Erica. Yeah, as I said, you can find it on um, on iTunes. You can find it on uh, Amazon. You can find it on Spotify. You can find it on Google Play. It's it's available. It's called My New Man. Clint, that remains to be seen. Beverly, what are you drinking? Denise, no, I'm, I was born in Jamaica. My family are English. On my, my, um, on my father's side, but I was born in, I was born in, and, and raised in Jamaica. Go get yourself a drink, DJ King. Beverly, what, what's a yak? I don't think I'm familiar with that. Oh my gosh, where did you, oh, oh. Um, how did I get into modeling? I modeled for Ebony Fashion Fair from um, uh, for a year. Um, I, I, you know what? Someone asked me. I was in the mall, and someone asked me if if I if I modeled um, Noble Strength, and I said no. And he said to me, "Well, why don't you?" And I said, "Well, I wouldn't know where to begin." And this is like uh, ninety two. 98 to 99 I think it was and all I did was I took a photo of myself and I sent it to the magazine and a week later they called me and asked me if I would like to fly out to Chicago to meet um, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson then and um, I met with them and a week later they said well we we're having a casting call we're having an audition would you like to come back and I said yes and I went and I was their plus model for the troupe. We went around the United States and modeled and I enjoyed it. Hi, Islands of Fun. So that's it. That's how I modeled. I was a plus model for uh, Ebony Fashion Fair. And if you should find, you possibly could Google it and see type in Jet Magazine, Polly Newman, and I think it's going to be 9899, Polly Newman, and you'll see me there. And um, yeah, 9899. So I was in Jet Magazine, and I was also in Ebony Fashion Fair, their, um, their February edition. Wow, I can't believe you guys are asking me these questions. Oh my God, Sanja, do you see what Denise Swiddy just said? No, I'm not, Clint. Denise, everybody, everyone has told me that, that I remind them of a Phyllis Hyman. Everybody has told me that. I keep losing the chat over here. Um, Nervous and North is asking what inspired you to become a YouTuber. Um, honestly, I, it was only because I was, I had a band, I was singing with a band at that time and, um, I just wanted something for posterity. So when we would go, um, and, uh, when I would go and perform, I just, my sister would follow and record me singing with a band and I thought I would upload them to YouTube. It wasn't about being a YouTuber. It wasn't, it was just for me to just upload it so my friends and family overseas could see it. That that was it. I that's it. And there's only one song on my um on my channel. And it was me rehearsing with the band and I was uh rehearsing a reggae song and 
that's it. That's the only one that's on my channel. Hi, Leonard. So that's my story, Nerd of the North. Um, it wasn't anything that I thought, oh, I'm going to be a YouTuber. Actually, the first, I have another channel, and the first thing that I I placed on that channel was I did, um, I also do voiceovers. And um, thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Ian Matthews, hello. Um, so my channel, my other channel, I, I just uploaded a voiceover I did for a famous reggae singer. She was coming to perform and um, a producer asked me, would I do the voiceover or the commercial for her show? And I said, sure, why not? And that's on my channel as well. And that's how I said, okay, well, people are liking it, why not? Hi, Millie, how are you? Hello, Huntsman Outdoors. Glamour Girl of Guide, hi, thanks for joining me. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Millie. So now everybody, since we have 36 people in here, what are we having? What are we drinking? <laughs> Huntsman Outdoors. That's hilarious. I love that. Oh, thank you so much, Glamour Girl. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Thank you. I try, Amy. I do. I do try. I, I try to stay busy because, as I said, I'm. I need. I'm. <laughs> Clint Irving Kool-Aid. I I try to be busy because I don't like just sitting around unless it's just kung fu, and then that's okay. But I like being busy. I write songs when I'm not doing anything. I I write songs for. My, a producer friend of mine. So I I love staying busy. There you go, Shannon. Shannon, she's having sangria with pineapple slices. Oh, that is yummy. That sounds lovely. 23 Jeff King Nation, hello. That's okay, Ian. Water is fine. Or nothing. DJ King, what are you having? Did you just say vodka? Nice. Vodka and cranberry. So I'm just having this peach bellini. And to show you, uh, how long have I had this? For 33 minutes? And I'm still babysitting it to show you that I'm not... Okay, Teresa, say hello to your dad for me. Have a good evening if, you, if I don't see you again for the night. Everyone, around here we call vodka tater, ju tater juice. <laughs> hello, Slotto man. So everybody... Please go and say hello to Sanja Covington. She is one of the tribe. She's in my tribe. So please go and say hello and support her. Sanja Covington. <laughs> Amy, I like you. <laughs> Karen, hello. You were able to make it after all. Thank you so much. How are you? And what time is it there? <laughs> 
Amy, we have to meet. We have to definitely meet. What are you drinking, Amy? Oh, thank you so much, Nerd of the North. I really appreciate that. Gosh, you guys are so kind. Thank you. Amy, yes, I would love that. I would love if we Google chat one day and sing. I would absolutely love that. <laughs> You're drinking air? That's good, too. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> Leonard says I'm drinking ice, ice cold green Kool-Aid. That's good. That is a really, that is a thought, Nerd of the North. Amy and I will probably do something like that one day. I'll probably write her song. Who knows? Hi, Closet Dive. Everyone, Closet Dive is a wonderful content creator. Uh, please get to know her. She is a really lovely, lovely lady. So is Noble Strength. So please get to know. My sisters and I usually sing together. Um, but when we are when we are performing, my sisters they get nervous really easily. So I would have. Um, again, because I'm the good sister, I would have tiny bottles of Baileys just to give them that jolt so they're not nervous. Because what I would do, because I would sing and I'm in the middle and I put my arm, my hand behind their back just to steady them because they get so nervous when we're, when we're about to sing. Um, yes, Clint, I have three sisters and one brother. It seems like, can you guys still see me? Because I'm getting something saying your connection is unstable. Okay, it's back. Can you guys still see me and hear me? If you can, type yes, please, because I have an, a thing here that says that my connection is unstable. Okay, thanks, Clint. No, for my voice, I use um, warm, warm water with with salt. That's it. I gargle with that before uh, before I sing, or I would drink some warm tea, which is just or honey, and I would just gargle with that, and I'm good, Leonard. Thanks, Clint. Leonard, you have a beautiful voice. Pamela, what are you drinking? I know what Poetic Kells, I know what you're drinking. Joss, I know what you're drinking. Closet Dive, what are you drinking, Lauren? Noble Strength, what are you drinking? I am the good sister, Amy. I have those things ready for them right before we go out. <laughs> Lauren, that's hilarious. <laughs> Closet Dive says she's having, she's drinking cheeseburgers woman after my own heart. <laughs> I would be Clint. I, I would drive you around. I wouldn't, I would be just the best, the best wing girl.
Um, what do I like on my burger? Oh, I no mayonnaise. Um, I I just like um, tomato, lettuce, and mustard, please. That's what I like on my burger. Oh, Amy, my sisters will disagree that I'm the good sister. We all will probably say that. They'll all say the same thing, that they're the good sister. Um, no cheese, Leonard. No cheese. <laughs> I know closet dive. I know. I know everybody's going to hate me because I said I don't like cheese on my burgers. Nothing, Leonard. I don't like to drink before I before I perform. I no, no, no. I I don't at all. Nothing, nothing at all, Leonard. I just want to keep focused. I don't, nothing, no pre-gig meal, nothing. When it's done, then yes. <laughs> yeah, closet dive, I'm, I'm sorry. I know, I, I, but you know. Uh, no, because I I have acne skin, so I don't eat anything that has dairy. Everyone, please make sure you check out Says What's channel. Make sure you check out uh, the Closet Dives channel. They are really great content creators, so please make sure you do check out their channel. They're wonderful ladies, and I just hope that you get to know them. So is everybody, have, what are you planning to do later on? I would love that, Leonard. I would love that. Says what, we're all, we're all small YouTubers don't that's that's quite all right. Oh Clint, you're recording tomorrow's vlog. Um thanks for that, Clint. Uh Leonard, um the type of song that I love singing, I just love singing. I absolutely, um, I absolutely, I just, I just love singing. So um, I, when I write, I write universally, meaning a man can pick up any of my song and sing it. A woman can pick up any of my song and sing it without me changing a lyric because I'm a universal writer. Do you know what I mean? After this, I'm um, purse happy. I probably will be watching YouTube to see who's live and supporting them. That's possibly what I'll be doing. Actually, I have to catch up on Bag Hound's, um, her latest uh, video. I have to catch up on that. I have to catch up on Karen's video as well. I'm a geek purse happy. I, um, what do I, my day job? I'm a 
software tester, meaning it's easier for me to say software tester than to say a QA analyst, um, meaning I test applications. Just a developer will code something and I have to test his code for bugs. That's what I do. I'm just a geek. Thank you, Baghound. I love it. I love I absolutely what I what I do. It's it's um very it's very analytical. And I like I love absolutely love it. It is Beverly, it really is. Um I I'll sit all day and just go through code and and test code and it's I love it. I absolutely love um, I love what I do. What are you doing later, Beverly? Okay, Sandra, be careful. Be safe. I'm purse happy to. What are you doing later? Oh, Beverly, you're watching movies. What movies are you? Are you? Ne I'm sure everyone in here are just a Netflix. Everybody, right? You're all at Netflix. I'm. I couldn't tell you the last time I watched network television. <laughs> you're a broke YouTuber. Hi, T.L. Bo. How are you? Oh, my girl, Beverly. Me too. Sci-fi. I absolutely love sci-fi as well. You know, I really don't know what that saying is, Amy, but I'm sure I can Google it and find out what that means. I never could get what that means. Me too, Beverly. I love sci-fi as well. Oh, that's a good one, says what? Spectre. Oh, that Daniel Craig. Mm. Thank you, Clint. Have a good one. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tilbo, yes, ma'am. I am a sci-fi girl. Yes, I love sci-fi from the cheesiest of sci-fis to the ones that are really well done, except I don't watch. Okay, let me just stress, when I say the cheesiest of sci-fis, I, I won't be watching Sharknado, none of that. Oh, I love Sense8, and I'm so sad. <laughs> Clint, you're so bad. Um, yes, me, uh, Noble Strength, yes. Korean dramas are really, yes, I love those too. I love Korean dramas. Um, I love Asian dramas, they're really good. Bye, Clint, you're terrible, goodbye. I hope there are no Sharknado people in the house because I didn't mean to offend you. I just can't get into it. it it's just so cheesy. And Closet Dive, you're absolutely right. Daniel Craig is the best Bond ever. Gosh. That man is just... The way he broods, just standing there, just him doing... He just broods sexiness. He's just sexy. He just looks at you and you're, you're like, okay, just... just he doesn't have to say anything. Just the way he looks at you, you just want to just take everything off. Yes, Amy, I am that way. I cannot. Wow, Joss, your mom loves Sharknado. Um, I cannot watch horror movies. Um, as a little girl, I was scarred. I was scarred. I watched a movie. We all did. As children, we watched a movie called Satan's Cheerleaders. When I found that movie again, 
when I watched, it was so cheesy. Looking at it now, of course, hindsight is always 2020. But as a little girl watching that, that thing scared us. We all had nightmares. We were screaming in the night. My parents had to come in and sleep with us because all five of us were screaming because we had nightmares about that movie. I'm sure you can find it right now on YouTube. It's called Satan's Cheerleaders. And if you look at it, you're going to laugh and say, Pauline, are you serious? Yes, because now I'm an adult. But when I was a child, it was scary. I won't give it away. You guys will watch it and see what made us. It, it's so cheesy and corny now looking at it. Yeah, it's, but I'm a sci-fi girl. I, I mean, Xena Warrior Princess was, mm, loved it. Timber Hill Redbound Coonhounds, hello. <laughs> Amy. Yeah, so horror movies are, I'm good. How are you, Timber? Uh, horror movies are, you can't pay me to watch a horror movie again. So since then, since that one incident when I was a child watching that movie, I will never watch another. No, ma'am, you cannot. I don't, I, and I used to say, okay, maybe if I watch it in the middle of the day with all the windows open and the blinds open so light can come in, I'll, no, no, ma'am, you will not get me to watch it. Nope. That was a good one, uh, Karen. Planet of the Apes, which was with Charles and Heston. That was a good movie. Timber, I'm sure you do, but I can't watch it. I've even Jaws. I've never seen Jaws, and I never will. And people keep saying to me. It's it's the movie. It's it's just the movie. That's it's it's the it's the music that's getting to you. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not watching it because I have to go to bed at night when the lights are out. I'm doing one of these. Now it's psychological. Of course it's psychological. I know the shark's not going to be in my room, but the little girl in me that was scarred after watching Satan's cheerleaders when I was about three or four. No, ma'am. You won't get me to watch it again. Thank you, Pamela. See, it's a lot of us that are not fans of horror movies. No, ma'am, you will not get me. Nope. Nope. I will not watch any of those. Oh, says what? That's great. I'm glad to hear that. So the Equalizer 2 was good, she says. Hello, Mr. Storytime, hello. So the Equalizer 2, I used to watch, did anyone else watch the Equalizer TV series? Oh, I could not get enough of it. I even find some of them on YouTube. I love it. Thank you, Mr. Storytime, thank you. You did Closet Dive? You used to watch it? Oh, I loved him. Oh, I could not wait to see that. Harmony, hello. Hi, Courtney. Queen Paula Banks, hello. The Rocky movies, I, I think I've seen, I think I saw uh, snippets. I honestly, I've never sat down to watch any of those. Okay, now Timber, I, I, I'm I'm going to say this, and and don't kill me because a lot of you in here may love this show. Okay, at work, people were just talking about years ago when Game of Thrones came on, and people were talking about it, talking about it, talking about. It. I think when season three came out, it's when I started watching Game of Thrones, and my boyfriend, in my mind, he is my boyfriend forever, will be my boyfriend. Sean Bean, when they killed him, I'm done. I said, nope, 
I will not watch it again. Nope. So season one of Game of Thrones was enough for me. Have not seen it since then. So sorry, Timberwood, Timberhill. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm sorry. How can you kill Sean Bean? I just love him. <laughs> Says White said he's one of my future ex-husbands. Yes, he's one of mine too. Daniel Craig is one of mine too. Says he's one of my future ex-husbands. I'm sure a lot of you are into Game of Thrones. I just couldn't get past the fact that he died. They killed him off. That ended it for me. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'll call you Timber. But no, so I I love Korean dramas. I actually, I love the one that's called um, I love Korean dramas. I also love the um, yes, Amy. They kill everyone off, and I've hear I've heard people talk about it, that they keep killing people off. So why should I watch it? I don't want to get accustomed and and fall in love with another character, and then they get killed off. No. It it hurt my soul when they kill Sean Bean. So no. I won't watch that again. So as uh Noble Strength says, Korean dramas are dramas are some of her favorites. So it's mine. Um there are some really good Chinese dramas that are on um Netflix as well. And uh but my favorite movie is to watch, though. It's just Kung Fu movies. And, oh, I should, I keep forgetting. And um, anything from the BBC and ITV, any BBC show, I love watching. They are my favorite guilty pleasure of watching the BBC shows, BBC shows because, one, they are well written. I love all the shows from the BBC. So I get to catch up on them on either Amazon or Netflix, but I don't watch like to watch US television because you you usually they they, they get everything from from uh, Europe anyway. So I have never watched Downtown Abbey. My favorite one that I'm watching and re-watching right now is Midsummer Murders. Love it. Yes, says what? I love Endeavor. Oh, I love Endeavor so much. It's so good. The Crown I have in my queue to watch, Karen. Um, I haven't started it yet because I love Matt Smith. Um, I loved him from Doctor Who, so I definitely will check him out in that first season. That's in, no, strength. that is in my queue to watch, Doc Martin. And uh, I, Church Hill, uh, I mean Broad Church and uh, The Tunnel is really good as well. I absolutely love uh, Broadchurch. If you haven't seen it, you should. I think it is on, um, I, I watched it on Amazon, I think, but it could be also on Netflix, I'm not sure. But The Tunnel is a great, great series. Yeah, so that's that's basically the, what I watch. Uh, yes, Broadchurch is definitely a good, a really good show. I just finished it, um, Shannon. Beverly, the tunnel is about um, the first series. It's about a woman that was found. The series, the entire 
first season. It was about a woman that was found on the the, um, the cusp of France and um, and 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 I think England. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me. But she was on the right on the border in the tunnel. So France is on this side. France is on this side, and England is on this side. And she was she was spread in the middle of it. She was laid out in the middle. So authorities from both had to come together to try and decide who is going to take care of it. So one 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 side said, the French side, I think it was, says, we have it because she's on our side. And then the English side said, no, it's ours. And then they pulled it and realized the woman was cut in half. So they had to work together to try and figure it out. It is such a good series, such a good series to watch, The Tunnel. Yes, TLBO, Broadchurch is like Law and & Order. And David Tennant is such a good actor. My God, he he's such a good actor. I've never seen The Americans, and I've never seen Orange is the New Black. So I will put those in my in my list. That's me too, Sandra. I don't watch regular television. I I don't. David Tennant is another one of your future ex-husbands. So yeah, I totally get it. He is mine too. He's such a beautiful man, and he's such so charismatic. I really was so sad when he no longer played Doctor Who. Love him. Boardwalk Empire and Sons of and Sons of Anarchy. Yes, I've heard that uh, Sons of Anarchy was really good and Boardwalk Empire. I really want to see that as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm purse happy too. Are you? Is anyone else lagging? Oh, I'm sorry. So, what are you? So, tell me, what are some of? some of your favorite shows that you watch. Maybe it's something I need to check out on. And remember, I don't watch regular television. So um, you know what I do love watching though? I Because I said, I do love watching Marvel, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The first season when it was really fresh and wonderful, but now they're like, but I do love, um, what's her name? Leah, um, T. What's her name? In Madam Secretary. I do love that show. I watch it on Netflix. So any recommendations? What do you guys love? Hello, Alison Exploration. What do you guys love that you think that I should put in my um, in my queue, either on Amazon Prime or on Netflix? Pamela says, this is us. Okay. Tilbo, I won't laugh at you, but you don't laugh at me. She says, I don't laugh at me. I watch Star Trek D Space Nine on Netflix. If you don't laugh at me, I won't laugh at you because I've never watched any of those Star Wars, Star Trek movies because to me, they're the same thing. And I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh my God, nope. I've never watched any of those things. Star Wars, Star Trek, I think they're the same. I know they're not the same, but you know. When it starts with star, I just assumed it's one or the other. Okay, so so do I, Noble Strength. I love watching documentaries. And you know what I love watching? You guys, there is this. There is, and I told you I love any English show. Um, but I love watching grand designs. Anything to do with your home, your garden, but Grand Designs, I absolutely love it. It's about people who buy their homes 
or tear down the existing home and rebuild it. It's, I love it. Mind hunters, Emperor's happy too. You can't hear me. Maybe you should log out and log back in. Can you guys hear me? Can anyone, everyone else? Okay, great. Thank you. Hi, Nathaniel Adventures. Um, so I love, I love grand designs. Anything to do with remodeling your homes, um, I absolutely love. I love those shows. So, but no, give me a recommendation. No, Baghound, I have never seen Lost. I have never seen Alias because my girlfriend says to me, who are you? You've never seen Lost? You've never seen Alias? Nope. never seen that's what i heard too karen that loss was great except the ending was just rubbish yeah i i you guys give me some really good recommendations and um sci-fi okay breaking bad nope never seen breaking bad deep Blair. I'm telling you, I have not watched regular television in years. Um, humans on Prime. Yeah, they only did one, one, oh, humans. Which one? Because there's so, there, I think there are a few. I will add it, though, Tilbo. I will add it to my queue. This is what says, I love the old Death Wish movies. So do I. With Charles Bronson. He was a former future ex-husband. Agreed. Loved him. Beverly Johnson, that my mother has HGTV on all day. Just the same way we watch QVC. All, well, I do. All day. My mother. HGTV all day. Paul Newman was a, he was a hunk. He really was. Thanks for stopping by, Noble Strand. Thank you. Have a great dinner. Yeah, I, since I just, I just do everything via the internet. I don't even have cable. I just do, um, I have a television that has Wi-Fi. So I just pick up from um, my router and I just go to Prime at, or Netflix and that's what I watch. I don't watch regular television because my brother's an avid star. He's a, he's a Trekkie. He loves that stuff. Me, never watched it. Loved Clint Eastwood back in the day. Oh my God. Yeah, I just, but give me anything to do with amazing hotel, amazing destinations, all that stuff that's on Netflix. Oh, I love those. I absolutely love that. And sometimes a really good Western is good. Give me a really good Western. I'm in, I'm in. Used to be. Sanja, used to be addicted to HGTV. Oh, own it, Sanj. I, I, my mother loves it. She just, she loves, if I go over, she can sit and tell me, even if she's seen that episode like three or 50 times, she sit and watch it. She, she, she'll start with, oh, you're going to love this one. You're going to love the way this one turned out. My mom, how many times have you seen it? About five. Oh, Cary Grant. Oh, my God. Be still. Such a gorgeous man. I don't, Beverly. Uh, I don't I don't have the national. Is there anything in particular you like? Yes, Karen. They were gorgeous. Oh, my God. Old Hollywood legend men. They were just absolutely stunning. Beautiful men. What do you like to watch there, Bev?
Hello, Andy. How are you? Yeah, those, the Hollywood legends, they were just, oh my God, they were just beautiful to look at. Those, those men were just gorgeous. And those were true gents. They were truly gentlemen. Love them. Oh yes, my mother is a Will Smith fan. Oh my God. She loves Will Smith. How are you, Oz Beach Andy? Beverly, I hope you're saying you also love The Rock. Hi, Kathy. Oh, One Strange Rock is about our planet and the space program. Oh, that sounds fascinating. You know what? I'll see if they have a YouTube channel. I'll see if they do. It's okay, Kathy. Oh, Karen. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by, Pamela. I really appreciate it. Have a good evening. Karen? Oh, my God, yes. Robert Wagner. Oh my God. When we, when I saw him in heart to heart, I was so in love with Robert Wagner. Oh my God. We used to play, we used to play this game where we would say count out how many times they call each other darling in one episode. Darling, darling, darling. That's, this, that, that's all you would, I, that show was so iconic for its time and so beautiful to watch these, this beautiful couple solve crimes oh my god i loved it yes he is handsome handsome mm. who said who had a thing for leonard nimoy says what you had a thing for Len leonard nimoy seriously Thank you so much, Andy. That, oh, thank you so much. Mrs. Osbeach, Andy, hello. Thank you. Says what? That's okay. That's okay to think Leonard Nimoy was hot. There's nothing wrong with that. Thanks, Joss. Have a good day. Oh, Sanja, thank you. Yes, Christopher Reed was really good too. It was really, really good. These, the, but the beautiful, charismatic men of old Hollywood were just, they were just gorgeous. They were, True gents, they're just lovely. Yes, Kathy, she said Heart to Heart is still on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries on real early in the morning. Yes, I caught it at my mom's, I was at mom and I saw it and I just fell in love with it all over again. I, I You just can't get enough of the darling, darling. Oh, Beverly, you're young. Don't you dare say that. You are young and gorgeous. <laughs> Says what? Seriously? Sam Elliott. Woo! That's a lovely man. I love that man. Gorgeous. Just love that man. He's gorgeous. You've got good taste, Baghound. Gorgeous. That man is so sexy. 
he is just a beautiful man. I just, I just, there's something about him, that lazy drawl, that beautiful head of hair. He's just a stunning man. Yes, says um, Rock Hudson was a good one too. Beautiful man. Yes, Baghound, he's really still, he's still really, really handsome. Um, you know who is, I find that's really attractive too. He's, what's his name? He's married to, um, oh, what's her name? You guys are going to hate me for this. But his son is Josh, Josh Burling. Oh, sorry. He's married to Barbara Streisand. What's his name? I think he's very handsome. James Brolin, that's it. I think he's a beautiful man. Yes. You know what? I was just looking at an old Magnum PI um, video the other day. And, and then right after that, um, he was on me TV. It, um, it came on. And then right after that, there was a, a, one of those insurance thing that he does. He is such a, he's still a gorgeous man. Yeah. I hear they're doing a, um, they're rebooting Magnum PI. Yeah. There are just some shows you really should just let be. Yes, he's on Blue Bloods. He's just, he's a beautiful, beautiful man. There are some shows you should really just let them lie and be legends. Just don't touch them again. Yeah, Sanja, they're bringing back, they're in, I hear they're in talks to bring back Magnum PI. Thank you, Osbeach. I really appreciate you stopping by and say hello to the missus for me. Until next time, thank you. Yeah, they really should just leave some some shows. They should uh, just leave it where it is. Like for instance, talking about sci-fi, Charmed. Oh, I loved Charmed. I loved Charmed. And now they, they they have a new one. I mean, Charm didn't even have a chance to just be. And now they have a new one. It's, it's as if no one in Hollywood can come up with a original story anymore. It's like all original stories are out the door. So they're now rebooting everything. Yeah, I loved, believe it or not, I love... Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I loved it. And I think and I hear that they're re, they're redoing that too. Um, yeah, I hear they're redoing it. Thank you so much, Amy. You too. Have a lovely evening. Yeah, Beverly. It's, it's as if, seriously, let, these are shows that are iconic shows that will be in history. Leave them where they are. I mean, every time I turn around, they wanted to, like, Murder, She Wrote. Oh, my God. Don't touch Murder. Nothing against, um, what's what was her name they were going to use? She was from The Help. Nothing against her, but don't touch that show. Murder, She Wrote is one of those shows you need to just let it be. You don't touch shows like that. Oh, yes. JB. Hi, Chrissy. JB Fletcher. There's no other JB Fletcher than Angela Lansbury. I don't care who you want to put in the just just don't touch it. Just leave it alone. Murder, She Wrote is just an iconic show and that needs to be left alone. There don't even bother. Think of rebooting that show. 
we're talking about the shows that we love, even some of the shows we grew up on, Chrissy, and that we're enjoying watching again. Oh, that's nice. I'm purse happy too. So that's what you are so true. Cabot Cove for somewhere to be so, they, I mean, seriously, every time you turn around, somebody was killing somebody. And my girlfriend and I always say, seriously, didn't we just see this guy? Wasn't he the killer in the last four episodes ago? And now he's the mayor or he's <laughs> like Seth Hazlitt. Do you know that before Seth Hazlitt became Seth Hazlitt, he was in a previous episode and he was involved in the murder. Yeah. yeah. They would recycle actors back then. They did it with um, they did it with Murder She Wrote, and they did the same thing with um, uh, the A Team. Dear Lord, it's like didn't this didn't we just see this guy? On like the last two episodes and now he's back. Everyone loved Frank Ferullo. Oh my God. He's such a lovely man. Kathy, I watch Murder, She Wrote on Cozy TV uh, from two until five. It comes on at two. It comes on at three. And four, but you know, all you know, there was one show, a Western show that just had three beautiful eye candy. The Big Valley. Mm. Loved Nick Heath and Jared. Oh my God, there's some gorgeous boys. So do I, Kathy. I was saying with the mysteries that I love, um, I, I prefer the uh, the BBC shows. I love any shows made by the BBC. I love that. Um, so I'm into right now, I am loving. Have a good night, Bag Hounded. Thank you for joining. So right now I am loving... Um, Midsummer Murders. I I am loving uh, M squared. Hello. Let me just look at my list on Netflix, and I'll tell you. And there are some uh, also Russian shows that I absolutely love as well. One called The Sniffer. Love it. Um, there's a show on, let me go through my list. So there is a show called Mrs. Miss Fisher's uh, Murder Mysteries. This woman is, I, I love her. Love her. You just have to see it. Father Brown. Father Brown is, sort of reminds you of Father Dowling Mysteries. If you like that show, you would love Father Brown. He just can't keep his nose out of anything. Love it. And um, of course, Sherlock, which is the best. Just love it. Uh, I used to love Person of Interest. Says what? Yes, Miss Fisher, it's so good. So, so, so good. I used to love Crossing Lines. They canceled that, but that's okay. Uh, Shetland, I think that is in, I think it's an Irish one. I love that too. Um, I have Altered Carbon. These are ones that I have to watch. I put into watch. Call the Midwife. Broad Church, of course. Jack Taylor, 
love it. Peaky Blinders is also a good one that I used to watch. Haven is a good show I used to used to watch and love. You like Altered Carbon, Tilbo? Because I haven't started it yet. I just put it in my queue. Yes, is what Bletchley Circle. Oh my God, I loved it. I love it so much. Bletchley Circle was so good. Dr. Foster is really good too. Yes, M Squared, Broadchurch, love it. Yes, love it. Dr. Foster is really good. Love it. Season one, I, I absolutely love it. Uh, season two is out. Van Helsing, I love. Um, and what's the one with, uh, she's Winona Earp. I love that. Cable Girls is really good as well. Gosh, there's so many. Um, oh, you want to talk about a cheesy 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 show that i love watching and i guess it was on years and years ago i never knew about it ash evil dead i guess it's ash versus evil it is so cheesy but you know why i love it because xena warrior princess lucy lawless is in there along with bruce campbell so i i just love it happy valley is really good as well Yeah, I saw that. I, Bev, I saw the um, I, I saw the promo for that. It really looks good. Um, oh, if Noble Strength I was here, I would tell her a Asian series to watch. She would just love it. But, and you know what I got into? Of course, after it was canceled, Penny Dreadful. I could not believe how good that show was. Penny Dreadful was so good. I have it in my queue, M squared, to watch Killjoys. I have it in my list. But I watch, I think, a few episodes and I was hooked. And my girlfriend and I said, okay, we're going to be watching this. Was the killing about, which one is that, um, M squared? What was the killing about? Was it about some, somebody being found dead on the bridge or something like that? No, M squared, I did not like the ending at all. I, that ticked me off. That ending, it was terrible. Yeah, I'll. It's so the killing is a detective show. Is it, is the, yeah, the killing and the following. I just, it just was so repetitious. The following, I quit that show. I said, oh, this is just annoying. It's like, so everywhere I turn around, this man has a reach from jail. He has so much pull that he can, everywhere you turn, somebody is a traitor. I, I was like, oh, this is going to get canceled. My girlfriend said, I hate when you say that because you're always right, but don't say it. Sure enough, it was canceled. Yeah. So that's why I prefer watching. I I prefer watching the original. All these shows are from uh, the British shows. I prefer watching the original because uh, to me the uh, the writing is much better. Yeah, M squared. It was annoying. It, the follow the, the, the oh, it was just annoying to me. Never watched Prison Break, but I do love the two those two guys that play as brothers. 
because they're in um, the new Justice League, I think it's called, on Netflix. On, on um, I think it's WB. Or Legends of, the Legends of something. Love that. Oh, Kathy, you're my girl. Monk and Psych. Love those shows. I love those shows. I just completed watching Monk for like the third time, the entire series. The entire series is on, um, it's on uh, Prime. And so is Psych. Love that show. Monk is, when you go back and you watch it, it's just, it's just hilarious. About a murder in Russian law of track will join the search. What show is that, says? Oh, Wind River. Does anybody watch, is it called, is it Fortress? With my future husband, Jason Momoa. Is that what it's called? Or Frontier or something like that? Is that what it's called? Frontier with Jason Momoa? Has anybody watched it? It's on Netflix. Because anything with Jason Momoa, I'm watching. I don't care if it's corny, cheesy. I don't care. I'm watching it because he's in it. He's just a gorgeous man. So that movie... <laughs> yes, T.L. Bo. Sweet Jesus, he's gorgeous. Frontier. Okay. So have anybody seen it? Because it's as I as I said, it's in my list to watch, but I haven't. But I will be supporting him as Aquaman, because Dear Lord, yes, I will be watching that. Aquaman is, when I saw the promo, the trailer, I was like, oh, sweet Lord. Yes, ma'am, we'll be watching it. You know what, M Squared, I was, someone asked me that. I have never watched it. My sister was so addicted to Downtown Abbey, but I never watched it. Oh, is it a period piece, Tiobo? I gotta say, some of these period pieces, uh, because there's some some uh, some of those gladiator type period pieces that they have now that I can't watch because it's so. And don't get me wrong, if that's your thing, that's your thing. But to me, some of them now are gotten so soft porno that it's like, okay, we get it. They're, 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 yes, they're doing it. We get it. And then this one is being raped over here. And then that one is being raped over there. And then they're having an orgy. It's like, yes, we saw that in the first episode. So it's happening again, the second one. And then the third one, it's like, okay, seriously, we get it. I can't watch those. I just can't watch them. I It's just enough. Yes, uh, Spartacus was exactly, exactly that. And I just, while I love the first guy and rest in peace, it was just too much. It's like, oh my God, I get it. So some of these shows that have just gone on with that, on, on that extreme side. And I think sometimes <laughs> that's what, and I just think sometimes it takes away from the storytelling. I really do. It takes away from the storytelling because every time you turn around, somebody's beating up a woman, somebody's raping a woman, somebody's doing this, somebody's doing that. It's like, seriously, okay, enough. I get it. I get it. But I, I just can't take too many of those. Of course it wouldn't bother you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
it was just like every other show, because you know what it is? Once you start a show like Spartacus, and that's all it is. It's just, I mean, you see it. Then you see, yes, I'm, I'm squared. It's true. Then everybody's now creating shows just like that. So it's like, okay, so I just watched Spartacus. So this other one called Kingdom is the same one. Then this other one is the same thing. Really? But clearly there's a market for it. Exactly, Kathy. Exactly. Just stick to the plot. Oh, yeah, that's that's it. So that's why I give me my little cheesy shows from my British little cheesy shows and, um, and my Murder, She Wrote, Columbo, Matlock. Give me those shows and I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Ripper Street. Yes. That is a good one as well. I need to finish that. I have one more episode to go of Ripper Street. No, T.L. Bo. What is that about? I've never watched the Almighty Johnsons. Is the Outlander good? <laughs> That's what is hilarious. Okay, so because I have it, I haven't watched it yet. Really, Teal Bow? It where's that on? It's it's is it on Netflix or our Prime? Oh, that's okay. And it's called the Almighty Johnsons. Oh, I'm I'm gonna find that right now. The Almighty. Oh. There's only three shit. That's okay. I just added it. The magicians I started watching. And I used to love Lost Girl. Oh my God. That show was so cheesy, but it was so good. And who asked me about dark matter? I've not seen Westworld. I've not seen it yet, but I've heard good things about it. Oh, that was the one. Oh, the alienist, no M squared. I did not see that. But was it good? Because Luke Evans in it, dear Lord, that man is gorgeous. Outlander, let me let me get that here. Okay. So I'm assuming it's on Prime. The alienist uh Bab was was All right, let me see if that is. Uh, I'm going to definitely watch it, uh, M squared. Okay, Outlander. Okay, there it is. Okay, so it's on stars. I don't have stars, but because I have prime, 
I would get it. Watch list. So the alienist was really good. Well, I will definitely check that out because I really wanted to see how uh, what's your name did in it. Thank you, Kathy, for joining. Have a lovely evening. Yeah, I will have to take a look at that because those are some good shows you guys are telling me about. The Alienist was what, a 10, uh, uh, a 10 episode series? Or was it just five? A mini series. Oh, it was 10, Karen. Okay, thank you. Oh, that's good. I will definitely keep an eye on that because I, when I saw the the promo for it, it really looked good. And as I said, anything with Luke Evans, I'm totally in. So ladies, I'm going to go ahead and end it here so you all can get ready for bed and be ready for church tomorrow. So do I, Karen. I, I love the old atmosphere. I absolutely love to watch period pieces. I will M squared. When I watch Westworld, I will definitely let you know what I think of it. Absolutely. So I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys tomorrow uh, in Dune Attic 615's uh, live at 6 p.m. So thank you all so much for watching. And remember, if you have not subscribed, go ahead, click that subscribe button. If you have not clicked the like button, please go ahead and do that on your way out and have a lovely evening, ladies. Continue with your beverages because you know I will. Wow, my, hello. Yes, I'm screwed, I did, I changed. <laughs> I did. I changed everything. You know, was, girls, we have to. We have to. So, as I said, so thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Click that like button. And I will see you tomorrow in Duneatic 615's live. And I love you guys so much. Thank you very much for watching me. I really appreciate it each and every one of you and thank God for each and every one of you supporting me. So until next time, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, pay it forward and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.